This conference will now be recorded. And all of you have that software with you, right? Now everybody has that uh, Python installed and uh, software is ready. Uh, is that correct? Yes. No. No? I have to listen to the class. Okay. We were talking about Sandy, any question? Uh yeah, I don't have the Python installer, but I'm using the terminal. Okay. Uh you, you got terminal now? Yeah, terminal. Yeah, I have it. That's fine, no issues then. Not a problem then. Yes. Do you have an idea how to use the VA or VA BIM? No. Fine, no issues. Can you share me your screen once? Uh, you need to do the. I need to become the presenter to start. Yeah, I made it. I made it. Okay, thank you. My hand. Yeah. Should just type the word. Yeah. Is able to see the screen now? Yeah. This one. My either quotation is not coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good. This is Sandy. a good question, right? Go for it. Hello, sir. Hello. Sorry. Yes, Sandy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I think in that version, that won't be supported, uh, Sandy. Uh, you are using 2.7, right? Can you see yeah, 2.7, not 13. In, yeah, you try it. Uh, let's check it out. Go like that. Anyhow, just print something there. Enter. Yeah, uh, in yeah. 2.7, you have you should not use parentheses. You should just say print space hello, space. Remove that parentheses. Okay. There is a there is a difference between these two versions. There are few differences, not not too much. And leave that space, remove that spaces as well between those. Okay. okay. Print space. No, no, it's fine. That will work. Don't use parentheses. Don't use parentheses. Space. Give some space. Okay. Yeah, for variables, it will work. Okay. What he's saying is normal print statement, it won't work. Nana. That's what he's saying. Okay, it's fine. It's fine working here. It seems okay. like good. Some yeah. space. Space. Okay, space. A. Yeah. Oh. This is actually the one which is supported. But anyhow, it's working. If you put parentheses also, it's working fine. And usually that's that is what is a three point X. You can use it only parentheses, but you cannot use that space. That is not applicable. Okay. And you can also say something print space. Do one thing. Print space. Double quotes. Hello. Don't use spaces. Just okay. uh, hello. No, no, he want. That space now. Not in space. Yes. Now print hello. Print space. I need a space there. And then space. Yeah. Yeah. Space. Space, yeah. Quotation. Now now quotes. Print that string, uh, so any string, that's enough. Okay. Hello. That's what is it? Enter. Why it's the code seems to be okay. Can you take single? Okay. okay. Actually, I don't know why it's. Uh... Use single quotes. Uh -huh. 
Okay, enter. Why you are getting like this? It should not happen like this. Are you using something like uh, the one with this one? Yeah, Brandy, that's not the single quote. That's like some other thing. Yeah, that's what. Uh, your quote seems to be you are using the, that apostrophe as I Oh. You are using that course in the wrong way, I hope. Uh, Sandy? Yeah. Print space, the quotes you are not using correct. This is the single quote, right? No, you are giving something quotes in the wrong way. Like put it in quotes. Yeah, uh, there's a problem with the terminal and eh? um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me you check that space. after this session. Yeah. Inside, inside string, you, have, you can have space, no issues. Enter. I don't have the single quote. Yeah. You don't have single quotes, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a problem. And, and then let me check on that. You can go to that uh, by and go. Okay. No topic start sure. just sure, sure, sure. He has another one. He is going to use that one. Where it has three point three dot four dot two. Is three dot four dot two fine or no? Yeah, anything is fine, but the problem is uh, with the codes, not with uh, the version. Okay. Version is not an issue. Your codes is the issue, I hope. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm stop sharing now. Okay. Okay. Let's start this. So, we have discussed till this yesterday. Batch, anyhow, we'll talk about it. Let me switch to the new questions. And you know, right? If it is string, the implicit data type to declare string is what? STM. It is a class actually. It's called as class. We'll talk about class concept when we do the object oriented programming. Okay. Just remember this is a class. This is not the keyword. Okay. Next one. Numeric constants. All numbers are numeric constants. And we have two types. One is integer. The other one is decimal. Okay. Integer means, sir. Uh, Number with fraction, without sorry, number without uh, fraction. Okay, something like this. All of you know this, anyhow, some 10, okay, 20, 30 like this. Decimal means uh, number with fraction. No, like this 10.5, 8.6, like this. Now, <clears throat> coming back to the point, let us quickly test all this. This is this, this exact, this constant, sir. If you want a clear screen here in a comment prompt in this interactive mode, you say import OS, OS dot some system of CLS. That system is a function, OS is a module. We'll talk about it when we discuss modules topic. Just remember, import it and then call this function. That's enough. You understand? Yes, sir. If you wish to clear screen at command prompt, now a equal to 10. You know, right? This is an integer. And then print a. I want to know that what is the data type of this a, this variable, 
and what's the type of this value so for that apply type function you say type of a use me int got it right similarly you can initialize another value similarly you can print it similarly what you can do you can check the type like this do you understand likewise i can say a equal to 10.5 and print a and then just say type of a now you can see the data type for decimal is float we just have only one data type here like in other languages we don't have two data types we just only have one okay suppose if you go to see we have float and double but here we have just only float and uh, for integer we have just only int we don't have something like uh, short byte or long here in 2.x it is there suppose if you go to 2.x but 2.7 or whatever it is there we have int and long for integers suppose i, I give something uh, a very lengthy value like this can you see this now how much big this is i got it right you can even you can't even imagine what is that but in uh, if i look at the type of this uh, in uh, 3.x we get int suppose if you if you check that in your machine sandy i believe it will show you uh, long it doesn't show int because very long values it will treat it as a long time so int and long are used to declare integer type of data that is data without fraction do you get this yes sir okay but we can uh, test it online with online compiler as well but if it is 3.x it doesn't show that long even uh, uh, how much ever the big is we have only one data type in 3.x we have two data types to talk about it okay that is one difference you can see here so what you do is so what is data type to declare integer here what your compiler uses interpreter sorry what your interpreter uses it uses a data type integer it's a class again it is a int class we type suppose is for some of you in mac it is showing as type it's fine no issues okay now again uh for this decimal again i told you right if it is 2.x so 3.x it is only if it is 3.x we have only int like 3.123 if you go to 2.x we have int i'm talking about 2.x version for integer we have int as well as long data type when it is when it uses int when it uses long if the values are so big it uses long if values are okay uh, or some something little smaller then it uses int so it depends like you know depends on the length of the value so that is nothing to worry about it it is an implicit thing that is taken care by the interpreter but if you want to know that what is that type you can apply type function and check that okay all of you are good right next one after that clear now clear yes sir next after that is a uh, decimal what is decimal here it's with number with fraction and what is data type used to declare decimal we just have only one here that is float not even in one, 2x at you know 3x got it next time. complex complex numbers means somewhere you learned it in a bit of school days it is a form something like uh, a plus ib right are you guys testing all this now did you guys tested all this yes, sir. okay what about others Only sandy is very proactive what about others are you fine guys 
Yes, yes sir. sir. Pranav, Lassia, Shreya, and uh, Snigda. Hope all of you are good, right? Yes, sir. I just spoke. I said yes. See, if you have doubts, if you don't understand, immediately stop me. Don't hesitate. I told this. I, I keep telling this every day. But feel free. That's what I would like to tell to all of you. Okay, now that's what this is all about. Complex numbers will be like this, but usually in uh, Python, we have to declare like a plus bj. j is a prefix. Sorry, suffix, I'm sorry. j is a suffix for uh, imaginary number. You know, complex means it has uh, real and imaginary parts, right? And the imaginary part, uh, we declare with uh, j here, that is a fixed suffix and it's not like you cannot keep like uh, b or uh, x plus i y like that y you cannot choose whatever the constant you want with that j okay it has to be there like that so now what do you do now open this just say you can directly take a simple constant like uh, 30 j this is a complex number you can also initialize that to your variable in a bracket like you know 10 plus uh, sub 40 j like this and you can print it got it oh, sir, i have a question yes please okay so is j a keyword or like can you still use it as a variable name or is that not allowed it's, it's not a variable uh sandy uh it's not even uh, a keyword not right. it is a fixed fixed uh, uh suffix like you know like a literal, a fixed yeah, constant. Sir, yeah. sir uh, I think uh, I, I, I part uh, can tell you over the top. I put. Yeah, uh, A plus IJ, uh, ah. complex number for the lending. Papa. And Papa, I need a variable name. Then, okay, then this is a same. Generally, we love the complex form. No? Okay. I think Python is a complex form. Yeah, yeah, correct. And in another end, we like we made a map out there. Let's do any. How does it work? At the end, in the end, we love the complex numbers. Tell you, sir, Inka. Oh, okay, got that. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Inka, sixth, seventh standard loss. Then the other one, which one? Chapter nine. Okay. Got it. No, Kantamandi, Kachu, Kantamandi, Kradu. But like, my question was that is J a keyword, or are you still allowed to use it as a variable? Or will it become like an error? Oh, okay, okay, okay. J and N, okay. If we actually get more to that, okay. It's a complex concept. Right? The next word, I'm on coding level. That throat code, you don't see this. Only when we, if we manage, we put matter, we matter. That, okay. Can you read here? Can you check? Now, we're not doing. This is mathematical thing. I'm not doing. Complex numbers, I'm not doing. Okay. It's a representation. Just that general, I'm not doing. Okay. General maths, we lost the last year. No, Pranav, you're right. Yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. Math, Last yeah, I, I know them in math, but like I was just wondering, like in coding, can you still mm -hmm. use J as a variable name? Can you still use it? J, yeah. I, you got your question. I got your question. Correct. So, if you could have variables, what are the point? And then, got that. See, make a form or don't have a form at the complex number. And Chapadani cook format Chapadan cause A plus BJ and code lay put a word on a is down there. I A B plus low values of type do and something like X equal to Neno 10 plus 20 J and is done. I do not know the rest. A B under Wakada. This is just yeah. structure, just to, to talk about structure in A plus BJ and then okay. Na? Yeah, yeah, those are you substitute those with numbers. I got that. Uh, actually, the structure chapter and cost a plus BJ and Argani technical circuit mano complex value of good like school. We have to give like this. You leave that channel. Got it right? Okay. Yes, yes sir. Come doubt. Still, still, your doubt yes. is there or you got clarity? No, no, it's it's not there. Okay. J, come, J has to always come here. This should be there always. Okay. They put under good to be a complex number and just remember the formula complex number. 
complex numbers and in that way they are kind of mathematical numbers which is used to denote two two parts here the left part is a uh, uh, real part the right part is a uh, imaginary part i heard vani uh, nagar uh, mathematical teacher oksari vani gar nadagandi she will clearly explain this thing manaki ikka varaku endukante manam programming lo unna mathematics lo lem kabatti we'll stop this here okay got it ఇది మనం ఎక్కువ దీన్ని మనం ఏంటంటే జస్ట్ ఐడియా కోసం చెప్తున్నాను ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ ఓన్లీ టాకింగ్ టు గెట్ సమ్ ఐడియా అంతే గాని ఇది దిస్ దట్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ ఇన్ పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సైంటిఫిక్ పీపుల్ యూస్ దిస్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ వి డోంట్ యూస్ దిస్ డోంట్ వరీ అబౌట్ దిస్ పార్ట్ ఓకే బట్ హౌ డూ యూ డిక్లేర్ ఇట్ దట్ ది క్వశ్చన్ అంటే మనం ఆల్రెడీ చేస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి అన్ని ఒక ఆర్డర్ లో ఇలా తీసుకెళ్ళాలన్నమాట డిక్లరేషన్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీకు జస్ట్ ఐడియా ఉంది కదా ఇలా ఉంటది కాంప్లెక్స్ అనేది మీకు ఐడియా ఉంది కాబట్టి మీకు అర్థం కాకుండా వదిలేయండి అమ్మా దీంతో వదిలేయండి దీంతో దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ సంథింగ్ రియలీ వి యూస్ త్రూ అవుట్ అవర్ కోడింగ్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ ఏ ఈక్వల్ టు సమ్ టెన్ ప్లస్ సమ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ జే అనుకుందాం సరదాగా ఇప్పుడు ఏ ప్రింట్ చేశాను అక్కడ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పాయింట్ అంటే అది డెసిమల్ గా తీసుకుంటారు మీరేం వరి అవ్వాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు నేను కరెక్ట్ గా ఇస్తున్నాను ఇప్పుడు ఏ ప్రింట్ చేయండి దీని టైప్ చెక్ చేయండి ఒకసారి టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఏ అంటే ఏమొస్తుంది మనకి కాంప్లెక్స్ అసలు చూసారా అర్థమైందా యూ గెట్ దిస్ అంటే యూ జస్ట్ ఓన్లీ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫిల్ దాట్ డోంట్ ట్రై టు గెట్ టూ మచ్ ఇన్ టు ది కాంప్లెక్స్ పార్ట్ ఓకే దట్స్ అ మ్యాథమెటికల్ కాన్సెప్ట్ నాట్ అవర్ పైతాన్ థింగ్ ఓకే నా నెక్స్ట్ వన్ that's all about constants so finally how many constants you learnt in python python lo any constants nerchukunnarandi manu one is uh, let's summarize this is time to answer now you for already ipudu idi meer maatladalasina time anamata enna unnai maniki first vachi you have to answer Um, we did int and then um float okay int float and then uh, uh type and then string and then yeah that's it. that's the for and so okay you can say string that's fine it also fine then float is also fine and one more is missing what is that just now i discussed complex complex if you don't know that just only think that okay this will be this form and we put it like this that's all don't don't try to understand too much now is am i missing anything here as per the discussion we have done so far anybody can figure out what is missing here edo odilesa manam evaraina cheptara is it char our character we don't have a char here is character. it long yes perfect yes that's good long I, i i think we have discussed long things also but i i told clearly where where this long is applicable in 2.x i my 2.0 in that version where only it is applicable where where long is not applicable 3.0 yes remember that we have two categories of versions here 2.x and 3.x okay there are few differences there you have to just remember that okay now you can make long is there but long is applicable only in 2.x might be 2.12 2. till 2.7 the latest version but not supported in so that's fine these are all constant integer okay uh, decimal of course uh, manamu constants ante direct data types uh, isesukunnam paravaledu ipudu cheppandi string use cheyadaniki declare cheyadaniki data type use chestam manu if i should declare string which data type uh, if not 
if we declare string what data type is used by interpreter you put a data types figure out yeah. answer can you please repeat the question yeah sure can you please repeat the question see if i uh, you know we have figured you know figured out all the constants now now tell me the data type used to used by interpreter to declare string character data type data type what is the data type to declare string what your interpreter uses implicit data types right i have shown everything string is a class right yes even so we can call the data type as well nothing wrong in that okay even though it's a class it is a data type okay now you tell me otherwise okay let me ask like this let me reframe my question str what is the class used to declare string str okay what is the class used to declare classes used to declare uh, integer INT. INT. And then, okay. And then long. Right. What is the class used to declare float? Float, F L O A T, that's it. Float for float, it's float. For complex yeah. numbers? Yeah. For complex yeah. numbers. Uh, what is the class used to declare complex or type used Just to declare complex, complex numbers huh? complex but complex is complex got it right see when we look at uh, somebody has mac right uh, some shreya or Sinda has mac right yes yes, sir. yes. Uh, mac lo manamo yesterday when we use the type function what it is showing uh, when i apply type Instead of class, it is showing type space some str type space some int like that. Correct? Uh, no, mine showed class. For you, it's, but for someone, I have seen like that. I told um, them it's she fine. was using. She wasn't using idle. She was using terminal, so it showed type. Okay, fine. What right? So when yes. you use there means what? It's class or type. All these are can be called as data types. Got it right? What we can call them? Data types. This can be called with a name called data type. I will, I will explain that. Don't worry about it. But do you get the point now? Remember all this. You need to remember these things, OK? This is very important for all of us. In this, if you have any questions, ask me. Any questions, please ask me. Uh, no questions for so far. Okay, Sandy, don't have questions. What about Shreya? What about Nigna? What about Pranay and Lakshya? I don't yeah, know. We don't have questions. Huh? No, no questions. questions. Okay, perfect. Then, so we, we discussed the constants and we concluded uh, what data types are declared. And in that process, I understand something. So when I say data type, uh, when I ask you what data types means, sir, you no, know, you might you are waiting till I use the word class. You are thinking it's class or it's type. See all this, even even when you declare something a class in, in Python or Java or C or C plus plus, everything is a data type there. All even they are called as data types. Okay. But anyhow, the next topic in the list is data types. I will explain that. What is a data type? Okay, and how it will be. When you say data type, this key, a data type can be a keyword or a class. But in Python, it's not keyword, but it's a class. What is it? It's a class. You got that point? In other languages, it might be a keyword. But in, in uh, Python, it is a class. 
and any of these two can be a data type. You get this point clearly. If you say yes, then I will move forward. But other yes, check then in mother Yes. Yes. Okay. Data type means what? Data type means uh, it is a keyword or a class which tells about this tells about data type. What do you mean by data type? Suppose I ask you quick questions. I'm going to ask very tough questions. All of you will be ready to answer. Then ABC and double quotes like this. Then Chodangani is a data, is a value, is a constant, is a literal. Can he? What type of data is this? Even Jephthah Medu? String. A string. All of you are telling this is string, right? Yes. Anybody has doubts on this? No. It's okay. It is string and Jephthah. And can you tell me the class used to declare the string? Is string declared um, to declare the string? Your Yes, perfect. Your interpreter is using some data type, right? What is that it is using? STR. Wow, excellent. You have the first just now, Sandy. Thank you, Randy. No, I'm just joking. You didn't understand my joke. I understood. I didn't hear your joke, sorry. Huh? I didn't hear your joke. So, what is this? A float. Correct. You have to watch it properly. An yes. integer. Oh, no. Integer. Int. Others, others int. Also, can you please, could, could others also please talk, guys? It's an int. Int integer. Yeah. I am only having only one active participant and others are passive participants. Okay. So this is what uh, integer. Data is integer. What data types do you use? Expressed as an int. What is that? It can be expressed as an int too. As the int data type. Int and int so, uh, yeah. yeah. Long. Okay, that's good. What about this? What is this data? Float. Okay, what data type we use float. to declare? Float. It can be expressed as float. Okay. That's it. Then what is this? Not that's it. One more is there. What is this? Uh, complex. Okay. What is the data type used to declare this? Complex. 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 Are you good now? Yes. Okay. That's it about data types. Finally, what is the conclusion about data type? Data types. They are the. You know, data types tells about the. Tells about the. The constant. Complex. What it tells about? It tells about the data type. Tell about the content. No, 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 no. It can be a keyword or a class. It tells about what data? Data. Data type. Data. Type. Or otherwise, let's reframe like this. It tells about the type of data. Do you get that? Other way, another key. Yes, yes, sir. Data type changes to the name. As you have that in the name itself, guys. Data type. It, it is expressed as a. You it's expressed as a keyword or a class. And put some space now. You read it. What it is saying? Data. It tells about data type. Type means the type. Yeah. You know there the are type so many. Data. There are so many types. What is that? Str, in, float. Okay, long. Complex, all these, all these classes, all these classes, we call them as, we can also call them as data type. 
Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Now, after this, the next discussion is the about. Uh, suppose all these are my data types. Figure out now. List out data types. Now. Only data types. Now. And not, not Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, you, you just go, go to mute now for some time. And oh. Okay, now somebody else tell me now. And okay, one next step. Float. 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 Okay, next step. String. String. Okay, next. No, STR. Okay. Complex. Complex. Next step. Complex. Complex. Next. Complex. 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 Are we missing anything? Long. Long. Okay, long just applicable in two point x. You can apply this in two points. Are you good now? Okay, that's good. Now, so if these are data types, we need to understand something here. Before that, I would like you to do some programs. Are you ready for writing your small? Baby programs. Yes, sir. Very yes. And then, the programs are done first. We know data. We know data types. That we don't directly use data types, of course. Data types directly what the ma? What angle? Can you na? Mano declare just the ma data types. Or ano? No. Just the ma chain. Yawar just the ma. The computer doesn't. Interpreter does that. Okay. Then you can ask me a question. Interpreter just a miradu and even me miradu japan. If it is doing that, why you are teaching all this? This is you can ask this question, right? Yes, sir. Then, even though interpreter does that, without having proper idea about this, okay, when you move forward in the coding, you, you are going to get confused a lot. Understood now. With chala confuse a chance of time under Kilaka. So to make sure that you are clear with this concept, so we have discussed it. Okay. Now I have a question. First thing before going to the next topic, write a program, the very first program. And then one more quick introduction to this function, print function. Let's talk about the print function, then we'll do few programs. You know, print is used to display your results. Suppose I say a equal to 10. In the interactive mode, in this Python prompt, you can directly print it, no issues. Suppose when I go to this batch mode, this is something called batch mode, or when, when I use idle or some ID, I cannot no, display my result without this print statement. I need it. I need print. I cannot directly say yes like this and do some magic there. It won't print that result there. You get an error. Got it right? So that's why you need to get an idea about print function. Later on, of course, if it is a, a command prompt, you might skip it. If it is idle, then you can use it. These are all very petty things, small things, okay? And the syntax of print look like this. Just remember syntaxes, something like print of. If it is 2.x, generally in 2.x version, the print can be declared like this print space some variable name. Okay, or even I think we I am seeing that brackets are also used in the both. You can use it in both ways. What is that? Print space. You can also apply parentheses. This is another way, but these ways are applicable. Okay, in which version? Two points. These two ways. Means, for example, I can print a value in two point x like this. Print a, or otherwise, I can also say print of a like this. Okay. 
got it right? Do you understand the statement? Yes. You understand syntax. Yes. And second thing, you need to apply that syntax. And third thing, you need to understand that syntax. Got it? Under okay, na? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes. Because of any huh? all of you are perfect, right? Yes, sir. Sir, I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, so when you do the import OS and clear the screen, does it also delete the values that you created or does it still save them? A value should take. Clear just the only word code. Suppose A equal to 10, B equal to 20. So, why is that system of when I do like this CLS enter? Now I can print a still A, A will be there. Okay. Okay. When you clear, only that screen is just cleared, but that value still exists. But when do values means when you close that window and when you come back, then you lose that data. Got it? Yes, yes sir. Sadi, Adwaida. Oh, actually, last year I asked that question, sir. Okay. See, I it sometimes all your voices seem to be same. But if it is last year, that's the answer. Okay. You got it right? Yes, sir. Okay. Next. Uh, you got idea about print function, right? Yes, sir. We can also use print to display some text with value. You know, like this, something like print of. You can say, you can add some string like this. The value is okay. And you can say comma. Then you can print your variable like this. This is also allowed. This increases more. Quality. This, this increases more readability. Uh, okay, we do one. We'll just do a quick testing. What do we do? If you want something like this, your output like this, then definitely we should use print even in command prompt, even in the interactive mode. Okay, Ilaka wallet interactive mode of coda prints one. Just in one case, and uh, a variable print challenge, then uh, we don't need any prints. Shataka test chat with me. Shall we okay. test it? Yes, sir. Okay, right. Shall then let's say just, uh, uh, declare a variable and print. Just use a, a very small baby baby step. Do it now. Declare some variable and just print it. It might be int or float. It's up to you. Or a string even. How to declare and initialize and how to print. What is that thing now? Then I'll use small programs now. You keep implementing programs and slowly we will increase the complexity. Not now, as topic moves further, the complexity keep going. But now whatever you see will be mostly the easier, easiest things. Cool. Is it done now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Anybody has doubts on this part? How to use print? Anybody no, has doubts? No. Okay. Um, I have a question. What? Ask me. So to to print what the variable's value is, if you say print parentheses a, it works. But then when I say print space a, it doesn't work. Which version you are using? Uh, it says three point eight point two. Okay, that's what right. Huh? This 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 won't work in uh, uh, three point uh, 
version it is just only applicable for 2.x let me make it more clear okay. don't try this is used only in 2.x okay thank you got it so now let me test it a equal to 10 suppose if i want to print it directly i can do like this i want to make little i want to add some text here the value is something like this i can say this get this again i say uh, b equal to 20 and then i can say print okay some b is comma b like this suppose i want to print both a b together here i can print like this how do i print it uh, something like a is okay double quotes comma a comma again something like b is we can do it in single step print okay like this you understand this suppose i want to print that uh, from b onwards in the next line i don't want everything in same line observe all this then i should apply escape sequence what should i apply if i want to push my output to the next line in a print statement then what should i do use escape sequences i, I will correct that that's not an issue next topic escape sequences i'm just only talking about few things not everything is important anything starts with slash is escape sequence and the purpose of this escape sequences are to format data why do we need them to format data in your code we use them these are there in c cpp java in all languages we have them slash and slash uh, t this is used to push your uh, this pushes your value to next line this is called new line otherwise let me put it in single line this is called horizontal tab what do you call this sir horizontal tab means it gives a tab space this will push your value to next line these are the most used escape sequences yesterday somebody asked me if i want some quote how do i put it inside a string like this you cannot directly include quote you have to apply like this one if i want double quote how do i add it like this there are few more like slash r slash b we usually don't use them in in 99.99 percent .99 cases just these are this is called carriage return and this is called backspace when you use this it will just push push cursor one space backward when you use carriage return it will just return back the cursor from uh, the previous line to the existing line, current line that is called carriage return but anyhow don't worry about this slash r and slash b but only focus on these two because these were most used in the code do you understand this now get some yes. quick idea me andar ka idea vachinda yes okay kids let us test them we'll test slash n and slash t rest of them are not that necessary let's come here so now you see this is syntax we don't do that now here this is my output now i want push my out my output has to be like this i will give the output format you print it that something like a is some 10 b is something i need output like this i don't want it in single line what do you do do it i told you about escape sequence right try that where you can apply escape sequence and ekkada vadachu try chesi chudandi print lo vetachu print lo ela vetachu check cheyandi this is more like you test it first if you fail nothing happens i will show you again ఎలా నేను చూపిస్తాను కాబట్టి మీకు ఇబ్బంది లేదు రైట్ 
Can you tell me one more time, like, how do you, like, clear all your data if you have, like, so much, uh, if you, like, have a lot of code and how do you clear all that again? I forgot. What is that, uh, Sandy? How, how do you clear all the data? I forgot the command that you use to clear all the data. Like, if you have a lot of code, how do you clear it? In Python, uh, there is, if you're using this command prompt, you can just say OS dot, this is what, I have already told you this, right? Can you, but oh. also, OS dot system of CLS, here you do like this. Suppose if you are using an IDE, in IDE, you know, automatically it will auto clear that output. You don't need to worry about it. If you rerun the code oh. again, it, it will run a, as a fresh execution. All the previous output will be automatically cleansed by the IDE itself. You don't need to worry about that thing, okay? Okay. Okay. ID is killing up. I don't know. Chapter ID and take a lot of me. Don't worry about that. And he cleared the slogan. Check the note. He got the job with that. Okay. Automatic. I think clear Jesus. Put it. Mill it fresh in course. Run just the father. The clear just money. Quarter than this. Put it on. But ID is a largest. We need clearing only in this prompt area. Uh, sir, okay. I use escape sequence the slash n and it's and then um, inside the print statement and then it said that unexpected character after line continuation. Correct, correct. So you, you are you successful? Uh, no, it didn't print because it said that there was um, unexpected um, character after line continuation. Okay, no issues. We'll fix it. I'll show you because I want you to feel one first. Because we are not uh, doing any test here, only just we are learning, no problem. Do as many mistakes as possible. That's good for all of you. What about Snikta, Sriya? I, I rarely yes, hear. Yes, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that's excellent. What about Snikta? Yeah, I'm I'm good. Right now? I'm still enabled to put um escape sequences in my string. Pardon? Still any I'm still enabled to put escape sequences in like the middle of my code. Okay. Still, if you are working or you didn't understand, enable, you are saying enable, huh? Unable. Unable, okay. <laughs> you are unable, you didn't understand. I'll show you how to use them. When you look at them practically, see, you got this right, how to print multiple values in one print. Is that clear for all of you? Yes, sir, that is working. Okay. That's clear, sir. So if it is variable, don't put variable in quotes. Don't do that. Okay. Variable yeah. should not be, should not be put inside quotes. Remember that. Okay. Only some that text you have to put it in quotes. That variable you should uh, submit with comma and then print it. Okay. And then after this, you know, right? I have to print from here in next line. Then you use one more quote, or otherwise this escape sequence has to be in quotes, double quotes, or single quote, or it should be inside a string. Is that point clear first? Yes, sir. Escape sequence, anytime, it has to be inside a quote, or it has to be inside a string. You got that point? Okay. Now, I want the, uh, the value of B in the next slide, that from B onwards, I have to push it to next line. Then once the double quote start, after that I can apply new line there. You got it? Yes, sir. Then when I, did I get it? What happened now? Wherever I put new line, the cursor is pushed to next line there. Yes, sir. Run out. Yes, yes sir, we got it. What new line does you got that? Yes. 
suppose if i put new line at the end of this see this enter what happened that broke, broke the line the after the or like just before the b value yes. suppose if i put new line here what happened It broke the A is and um, the A value. So what is the conclusion here? What do you understand here? That escape sequences should always be a part of the string. So that's fine. This is for data formatting. If you don't use new line, nothing happens. Okay, in most of the cases. Only it's for showing data beautifully. It's for prettying, uh, prettifying uh, data. But the question is, what is the... Uh, of new line and where we should declare new line. New line or any escape sequence there has to be inside uh, inside quotes that is very important or a string and wherever you declare that new line from there itself uh, immediately the cursor will be more to push it to next line. New line means uh, from there onwards print the rest of the statement in next in new line. That is the meaning of that. Got it? Yeah. Yes, sir. I put new line here. Okay, I put new line here. Tell me the data output format now, how it comes. How do I get my output? Just print in the chart box. The output, all of you print in the chart. Guess the output and show me the, uh, tell me what you get in chart. First you, you know, <laughs> you are doing multi-threading here in the output, that's good. But you know, guess all the output at once and print and print it in one go. Uh, it's not letting us type in a new line. Yeah. If no we issues. press enter, it just sends the message. You, you guys could just press space all the way to the end and then type your statement. You got it right. Suppose what yes, B, I want B alter also to be pushed to next line. What should I do? I got 10 space B here. Even that B should be pushed to next line. What should I tell me what the correction I have to do to this code? What change I have to do to this code to move the even that B has to go to next line. A is 10. Again, again, next line. B has to, you have to put next. a slash N before the B in the quote. <laughs> After? After the quote, before the B. Oh, excellent, excellent. What is it? Understood now? Yes, sir. Now you got a uh, perfect idea about what? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. New line. Suppose if I put slash T, what happens? Can you see that? Yes, sir. Wherever you put slash T, it gives a tab space. Can you see this now? Now you see. These are all simple things, guys. Is there a difference now? Yes, sir. That's what slash t does. That's what slash n does. That's what about this, this two. Quote and slash double quote, you don't need them. If, if any time you need to talk about it in this topic, I will introduce them. Otherwise, you don't need much of that, okay? Right. Okay, guys, that's about this one. I want you to do some programs. Uh, we do it in the session, okay?
tomorrow sharp 11:30 ist means it should be 11 11 your time right correct yes sir 11 yes, sir okay. is that 11 pacific time yeah shreya okay thank you okay so give me a minute i'll be back and we'll have some conclusion and then try that maybe one or two you try now and remaining take as assignment okay Wait, so do we have homework for this week or no? Okay, uh, I told you, right? Well, let's do this and then we'll do a few programs today. As you know, all the basics to do basic programs. So today we had constants and we understood that. Now quickly tell me, how many constants are there? All of you. Type in chart box, better everybody will answer. Uh, there are four constants. Okay, what is that? String, integer, okay. float, oh, complex. Okay. Can answer. String? Integer, integer, float. Integer, float. Okay. Complex. Complex. Okay. So tell me the data types. If this is data, tell me the data. Data types for this. STR. All of you, you can type in chart chart box okay, if you if you don't want to. But I want everybody to answer. STR. What about this? Int. Okay. What about this? Float. What about this? Complex. Int, float, and then last one is what? Complex. Complex. Any other in, included, including any other inclusions or exclusions? No. Can I add, add long here? Correct. Perfect. Now, what else we have discussed? Escape sequences, right? Huh? So how many escape sequences I, I we had just discussed today? Backslash n. Okay. Backslash t. Okay. Um, backslash r and backslash b. Okay. 
and also and the, the ones with the and then quotes slash signing code and slash double quote. Now if you start doing some small programs, write a program to find the sum of two numbers. Do this small program. And all of you do that and copy and paste in the chart. As I cannot see everybody's screen, I, I cannot ask you to share everyone and show me. Just uh, copy and paste the code in chart. Kalasia had given me the answer. How about Shreya had given me the answer? Okay. What about Snigda? What about Prano? What about Sandy? We'll do more coding. We'll do more coding. Probably this week we are going to have a lot of fun with code. Okay. So these are all very basic and baby programs, but still we start a problem from there. Uh, A equal to 10, B equal to 20, C equal to A plus B. If you see this, you observe this. What did I do here? Yeah. All your answers are correct. You can directly say A plus B. Okay, that is one thing. Or you can say print of A plus B. You can also do this. This is also perfect. Or that these are all fine, but initializing to another variable is a good habit, good practice. Whenever you do a logic, you try to preserve that logic that resulted in some variable like this. If, if not C, you can take X, that's up to you. Okay. Because here it's fine. Why do we do addition? Because I need that result somewhere. So I should preserve that result in some variable. So we should initialize that logic to some variable. That's very important. Got it? But otherwise, all of you have done an excellent job. I really appreciate for your uh, you know, that speed and uh, and then one more quick program. Let me see how you can do this. Write a program. Right. To find the area of triangle, you know the formula, right? If you want, I, I'll provide the formula as well, that logic. But only thing is, you need to write a code for that. What is that? You learned that area of a triangle is half base into height. Some a equal to some half into base into height. Here, if you want to do some into, apply asterisk, don't apply that. You don't have into in the, into there. Asterisk is there instead of into, you have to apply that. Okay. So much more bigger programs will come. Really, right? We are going to do more, more and more.
okay let me just try it so area of a triangle means first we need to initialize the inputs first you should find out what should be our inputs here if i should solve this logic my inputs are b and h first you should declare them and initialize okay so base equal to 10 and the height equal to some 5 then area equal to 1 by 2 into base into height got it right perfect 10 into 550 by 2 is this suppose if you do the same logic in java c c plus plus c sharp you know what happens you get output as zero what do you get you get zero but to your surprise you didn't see zero but what is that you are seeing here but perfect output we will discuss this this point for now just observe this and remember i will enter tomorrow we talk about operators when i talk about operators then i will clearly explain why we don't get zero here but instead of that we get a, a perfect uh, output for the operation what's happening here that's we see in tomorrow's session what do you say guys are all of you are good now yes and then born are you yes sir yes okay okay kids Hello. it's one o'clock for me here so i'll stop here and uh, again tomorrow we'll connect by 11 30. if required i'll spend some more time no issues you, you work hard i don't say work hard but uh, work smart okay and enjoy when you are working on this don't feel like you are doing something really that complex difficult thing and if you have doubts again i told you right ask me questions and uh, even if you don't understand or anything is missing, just ask stop and ask me. that's all more more complex codes this is just only a baby baby code okay I wish I, we can do because you know you are all enthusiastic uh, learners. I can do some more, you know, innovative things with you, which is not possible with the regular learners, because for them, if you increase the complexity, they just you know become very tired. Let me see how you work if we increase the complexity. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, guys. Good day for all of you. Good day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you next week. Coming tomorrow. Yep. Eleven thirty. Okay. Yes.